that collects everything. I can't remember. Cecil Sharp House. Cecil Sharp House. Now, have you sung any up there? Did you? Oh, when I went and got my gold badge for Irish dance, it yes. actually I had to sing a song. Yes. I don't know which one I sang, but I sang a song. The gold badge of the English Folk Dance and Song Society is awarded for distinguished and unique contributions to the folk performing arts. Today we recognise the contribution of Francis Sherdog, singer, musician, but most especially Morris dancer with Oxfordshire's Phantom Morris dancers. Until recently the squire of the team and now their honorary president. Francis Sherdog moved to Phantom from Blackboard a couple of miles away in 1931 at the age of 12. His great-grandfather, Robert Locke, had been a Morris dancer in the nearby village of Field Does Arts in the 1830s. As a young teenager, Francis watched the Morris dancers practicing outside the malt shop or public house in the centre of Bampton. The squire then was the legendary William G.P. Wells, who was the sixth recipient of the gold badge way back in 1928. In 1935, Francis spent the morning of Whitman Lee carrying the dancers' coats, and G.P. Wells said, You've done very well this morning, you'd better have a dance this afternoon. <laughs> he did, and has danced ever since, including this year at the age of 77, and that's 60 years. It was in 1939 that Francis first met Nibs Matthews, later the director of this society, where Nibs and friends danced the Headington dances with William Kimber, a musician, on Whitman in Bampton. Both Nibs and Francis have fond memories of that occasion. On leaving school, Francis was employed as a groom at Wheeled Manor, and after war service as a sergeant in the army, <coughs> during which time he was wounded whilst on active service in Europe, he returned to Wheeled Manor where he remained as head gardener until his retirement. In 1949, Francis Sherdog became squire of the Morris Dancers when G.P. Wells retired. Francis continued as squire for 45 years, announcing his retirement at the team's Christmas party in 1995. Over the years, Francis has led his team of dancers at performances all over the country, including the Royal Albert Hall, the Purcell Rooms, and the Royal Festival Hall in London, and at festivals from Cornwall to Ireland, including Sidmouth, Loughborough, Dartmoor, and Weybridge. In addition to his role as squire, Francis has also acted as secretary, musician, dance teacher, master of ceremonies, and enthusiast. Francis has always been regarded as an excellent dancer, taking his inspiration from the late Fred Pettifer. As Francis says, a good dancer must above all have a good sense of rhythm. He must also be able to show off just a little bit and enjoy the crowd. He's dancing for the public and to enjoy their reaction. Francis Sherdog is without doubt a natural leader. He's always been keen to develop everybody's potential has been able to maintain the interest of the younger dancers when other attractions have tempted them away from the dancing. He's displayed patience when teaching the new dancers and has encouraged nearly all of the younger dancers to perform jigs. Needless to say, Francis was regarded as an excellent jig dancer, often with his brother Roy. Francis's encouragement has not been confined to the dancing. Visitors to Bampton on the spring bank holiday are made very welcome, as long as they respect the town and its traditions. And singers and musicians are invited to contribute to what has become a weekend of festivities. For Francis, the occasion for dancing, and the dancing itself, must be for the enjoyment of all concerned. Morris dancing in Bampton is very much a family occasion. Francis's mother helped with the costumes for the dancers. His brother Roy was, and occasionally still is, a dancer and fool for the team. His sister Ruth Wheeler and her husband Cyril are enthusiastic supporters and his nephew Jamie Wheeler is now the team's principal musician. Francis's distinguished contribution could not have been possible without the support of his wife, Anne. Francis Sherdog is also involved in other aspects of Bampton life, especially as a bell ringer in one of the most beautiful parish churches in Oxfordshire. In recent years, Francis has enjoyed considerable pleasure from seeing his, son, his nephew, Jamie, develop as a musician. And the two men have been guest performers at selected festivals and clubs, particularly following the release of the cassette recording of Bampton Tunes, Reminiscences and Francis's Singing, entitled Greeny Up, issued in 1988. Visitors to Bampton on Spring Bank holiday can, cannot fail to notice that there are currently three teams of dancers in Bampton. Whatever the differences of the past, 
The three teams now enjoy harmonious relations, which Francis is keen to see develop, and indeed representatives of the other dancers are here for the presentation this evening. When Francis retired as squire, he handed over an extremely strong team, with over 20 dancers and musicians, the younger still at primary school. The contrast with the late 1950s, where Francis almost single-handedly kept his team going with only four dancers, and when there was little interest in the dancing in Bampton itself, is obvious. The credit for building up the team to its present position of strength lies with Francis Sherdorf. The singer Bob Davenport, who's also here this evening, once told Martin Carthy, if you want to know about English music, you have to go and see English people dance, so go to Bampton. Thanks to Francis Sherdorf's commitment to and enthusiasm for the Bampton Morris tradition, we can continue to enjoy the dancing and gain that insight into English music and dance. More importantly, the people of Bampton can, enjoy, can, can themselves continue their town traditions into future generations. It gives me great pleasure to announce this award for the gold badge of the English Folk Dance and Song Society to Francis Sherdorf. I should like to invite Nibs Matthews, former director of the Society, to present the award. Thank you. 